my angels. So my BoxyCharm Premium for the month of July actually just arrived and I still wanted to unbox it for you guys here on my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm Premium for the month of July and we're also going to be trying on a bunch of the items and creating this look. So if you want to see what items I received in my July BoxyCharm Premium, just keep watching. all so much for the amazing comments about my new setup. I'm so glad you are loving it as much as I do. Now before I forget, I just posted a brand new huge giveaway over on my Instagram. I'm giving away the brand new e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette, two of the new glosses, and a ton of other makeup. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't want you to miss out on that giveaway. So head on over to Instagram at JSApprove to enter. So this hoodie that I'm wearing today is actually part of a tracksuit from Boohoo. I wanted to mention it because their stuff is constantly going in and out of stock and I believe this one's brand new so I will try to link it down below. If not, they do have the absolute best track suits. I have so many different colors. I have a beige one, a purple one, a I have multiple white ones, I have multiple black ones, I have a gray one, and I just am obsessed with them. The quality is so good for the price. You pay about $20 US for a track suit, and I've never been charged any duties either, which is fantastic. So now that we have those things out of the way, let's talk about what we are here for. So yes, it is August. But we are going to be unboxing the July BoxyCharm Premium because it just arrived today. Now, I did mention this in one of my previous videos that my BoxyCharm Premium didn't even ship until July 24th, which to me is totally unacceptable. You know, we're billed for BoxyCharm on the first of the month, so I paid for the box on July 1st, and I didn't receive it until August 5th. Okay, so this is my box here. As you can see, it looks like it has been through the ringer, but everything inside did arrive okay, so that's the main thing. The theme for the month is Boxy Sunshine, and I did already unbox the base box on my channel, so if you didn't see that video, I will leave it linked in the iCards above. Definitely check it out. That one actually did arrive in the month it was meant for. As you can tell, my makeup is not completed, and that is because we are going to be trying on some of the items in the box today. That's what I like to do, that way you guys have an idea of how the items work, how they look on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in the box and we are going to try it on. Now the first thing in the box is this bag. Now I know a lot of people were really unhappy about this and to be honest, I really can't blame them. So with your Ipsy subscription, you actually get a bag completely free and BoxyCharm has decided this bag is one of the box items. So I think especially when their direct competitor gives a bag for free every single month, you get a free bag with every one of your subscriptions. I think it's pretty crappy that BoxyCharm counted this as an item, especially because some people received a beauty item instead of this bag. And they've also valued this at $20. I don't know about you guys, but I would not pay $20 for this. It's a fly. Buzzing around here and it's driving me crazy and I'm about to go on a fly hunt mission. <gasps> the next thing that we received in our box is the Byro Bitter Green Essence Toner. I won't be trying this today just because I usually use my toner at night and you're not really gonna see any difference if I use it today. But I will definitely be trying this out and I will keep you guys posted. I absolutely love the color of this. This is a stunning color and I really do love the packaging. It is a plastic bottle. Is it plastic? Now the retail value for this is 95 US dollars. So I'm excited to try that out. Now this item is one that I actually get to choose for my box. This is the Kenya Antiveros, I hope I'm saying that right, Antiveros blush palette. Now one thing that I actually didn't realize when watching people's unboxings is that it has this beautiful croc print on the front. I thought it was just a standard white packaging, but as you can see it has a croc print, which I thought was something different. I think it could work for a variety of skin tones, which is always a great thing. 
Now for today, we are going to be using our highlight and blush from this palette. I'm thinking I want to go in with the color Gemini here as our blush and then maybe I will mix these two for our highlight. This is the Blush and Shine Kit and this does retail for $42. Keep in mind those prices are US prices. Now I'm super excited to apply the blush because I'm actually going to be using one of my new IEG Show brushes. If you follow me on Instagram, I unbox these brushes over there. So they did send me the 12 piece rose gold brush kit. It is absolutely stunning. The quality feels amazing. And this is my first time trying them. So I am super excited. They also came with this cute carrying case here and they feel so soft. So I cannot wait to try these out. So let's go ahead and go in with that orangey Gemini shade on the cheeks. So that blush is super pigmented. Okay, so we have our blush on there. I'm really liking that orangey blush color. I think it's really pretty. Next for highlight, I'm actually going to go in with this IEG Show Blending Brush. And I'm going to dip my brush into both the lights and camera shades here. Now, just to diffuse that highlighter and make it look more natural, we are going to use the IEG Show Angled Contour Brush from the same set. So far, I'm really loving these brushes. They're applying the product really well. Oh, I forgot to mention my code. So if you do like these brushes, you can use code JSAPPROVED to get you 15% off their website. And of course, I will leave these linked down below along with the link to sign up for BoxyCharm. I know this time I'm not really selling it because my box came so late, but I have to be honest with you guys. This next item I think is one of the most exciting parts of the box this month, and that is the Morphe and Manny MUA palette. I never ended up picking up this one, so I'm really excited it came in the box. You get a ton of neutrals and some highlight shades. We could have used those highlights actually. I might just go ahead and apply some on top. So this is what the palette looks like. And this palette does retail for $20. Now even though it's one of the lower priced items in the box, it is one of the items that I am most excited for. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with Dust Cloud here, which is a very neutral shade and just pack that all over the lid. I don't have any eye primer on because I actually don't own one, which I probably should. If you guys have recommendations for an eye primer, let me know in the comments down below because I don't own one. One thing I love about this IEG Show brush set is you get a ton of different size eye brushes. So they don't just include one crease brush, one blending brush, one packing brush. They include them in all different sizes, which for someone who has really small eyelids, I really do appreciate that. I really want to use the shade Leo because I am a Leo. My birthday is actually coming up on August 13th. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and go in with Sophie here in the crease. We're just going to do a very basic look. Surprise, surprise. Now, these shadows seem to be blending really easily, but there is quite a bit of fallout. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take Leo and put that in the outer corner to deepen up that part there. So this is the Small Smudge Brush by IEG Show. Like I said, they have a whole different range of sizes, so this would be perfect for me for getting right in that outer crease. Now, I have been watching quite a few eye makeup tutorials to try to improve my eyeshadow skills for you guys, and I know I've talked about her before on this channel, but my friend, well, my YouTube friend, I've never met her in real life, but sometimes it feels like you have met people. My friend Tatanisha here on YouTube, the talent she has blows me away. Like, I do not know how someone can be that talented. And if you wanna learn how to do eyeshadow looks, it's not gonna be from me. I'll tell you that much, it is not from me. I'm just going in and kind of applying things willy-nilly to my eye. So next, the last thing we are going to do is take this gold, this is Scorpio right here, and I'm just going to put that in the inner crease here to open up the eye. So I'm going to take another brush from the set, 
This is supposed to be a lip brush, but I'm going to use it for inner corner highlight. And I'm going to take the Apollo, this one, highlight shade, and just apply that in the inner corners. I also want to apply some shadow to our lower lash line, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Sophie shade. That is kind of the medium brown and just apply that to the outer half of the lower lash line. I don't go all the way in just because I find it closes off my eyes. So the next thing in our box is something we are also going to be trying out. This is the Laura Geller Line and Define Dual Dimension Eyeliner and this retails for $24. So the one tip is a felt tip black eyeliner. It's quite big, so I'm actually a little scared to use this, but we are going to try. Now, this is a very interesting shape. So this is the Coal Eyeliner, and this is in a gold color. We're not gonna use that today. We're just going to use the black eyeliner. So I'm just going to line the tops of my eyelids and maybe do a little wing. This is definitely not the easiest eyeliner to use. I just find it's so big and bulky that it's hard to get a precise line. The other thing I found is that as I did the line, it started to run out even though it is brand new. So it's not like super juicy, I wanna use that word. It starts to run out of ink as you're halfway through. So that is definitely not a win for me. I'm going to go ahead and apply lashes and I will be right back. I also cannot begin to express to you my love for magnetic lashes. I can't believe it's taken me this long to try them. I always thought that it was a gimmick and that they wouldn't work properly and I decided to take a chance and order them on Amazon. They were only $20 or so and I am so impressed. Look at them! So they are on my Amazon storefront, the exact pack that I ordered because I can't speak for any other ones. So I will leave that link down below, of course. And definitely if you try them out, tag me and let me know what you think of them. So we have one more thing to talk about in our box and that is the Foley Fire Lip Set. So this retails for $39.99. Now I'm not gonna use one of these lipsticks today just because I wanna do a neutral lip and be super boring like that. I also have so many lip products on the go that I don't need to open anymore. But these are the shades that you get here. And I haven't actually ever tried lipstick from Foley Fire before. So let me know in the comments down below if you have tried their lipsticks or if you receive them in your BoxyCharm. I always love to hear what you guys receive. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. So next we are actually going to try out this Pixie Gloss that was sent to me in PR. If you watch my PR haul, this came in the little fanny pack that Pixie sent over. If you didn't watch my PR haul, make sure to check it out. I'll leave it linked in the iCard. So this is a plumping lip gloss. This is in the shade Peony Bloom. Okay, my love, so this is the finished look that we created using the items from my BoxyCharm Premium Box for the month of July. Definitely let me know in the comments what items you received in your BoxyCharm. Did we receive the same items? Did we receive different? I definitely want to hear from you. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.